Hey there developers, are you tired of spending countless hours manually coding your Flutter apps and that too from scratch? Have you ever wished there was a quicker, more efficient way to bring your Figma designs to life? Well, the good news is here because in this video, I'll be showing you how do you convert your Figma designs into Flutter apps that too with very few simple steps. Introducing Device, a platform that bridges gap between designing and development, saving you countless number of time and efforts. So let's dive in and discover how you can turn your Figma vision and you can turn your design ideas into a fully functional Flutter app in minutes. Device uses code generation, which is a sophisticated algorithm to convert design elements into clean, readable and maintainable code. You can choose between React or Flutter as your target framework in mobile and device generates code accordingly. The platform provides a visual editor where you can fine tune the generated code. You can add or remove component, modify styles and adjust interactions. Along with the code preview, if you make any changes, you can see the app's appearance and behavior in real time. Isn't that the hot reload feature in Flutter? Let's understand this entire tool along with its benefit with a simple example. Well, over here, what do we notice is the dashboard and I'll click on mobile app. When it comes to device, it has got a lot of preview or the prototype apps. Let me just take this and use this template to create our app. So over here, let me just put this as to do programming hub and then select the Flutter framework. Do you notice over here, it has already started showing me my Flutter main function. It's just not that if I click on start building, it's going to actually create the project on Android and iOS architectures and give it to me. It's as good as you creating a Flutter project from blank. Now I'll take this. If needed, you guys can change this bundle ID. I'll click on save and continue. And this is the exciting part. Do you notice it gives me options to either follow block, get X, river pod, and all the other state management techniques which are very popular in Flutter? Well, I'm going to stick to block, taking the latest version for Flutter and click on save and continue. Now, over here, it tells me what are the different fields, what are the custom widgets and also the navigation. When I click, it gives me options of what all screens I would be needing. And let's say I'll take this maximum possible screens. Click on next step. And over here, let's say I'll take login or sign up. Now, when it comes to submit, it actually gave me the code for the splash screen. Just not that if I would click, it has all the other pages which comes along with the Flutter app. Now, when I click on build, over here, it's going to create a repository that is the code repository and then give me as an export. I'll allow this build to get complete. Click on view code. And there we are, the entire documentation along with the folder structure everything got generated that too in a jiffy of time now i'm interested into pubsec yaml i want to understand whether the device is actually following the latest plugins or they are not because although they said the flutter version was very very latest 3.22 now i also want to check whether the pubsec yaml plugins are also the latest let's see over here flutter block 8.1.6. Now, while I'm recording this video, I'm going to check which is the version actually been there. And yes, it's actually considering your latest version for Flutter block. Next, I'll try to see shared preferences 2.3.0, shared preferences Flutter. And what I notice is a bit older. If I go to the change log, it shows probably two months down the line 
2.3.0 was the shared preferences plugin and still I consider this to be the stable version and I can go ahead with the plugins also. What resembles here is device is continuously updating the YAML files also along with the project template which gives me an absolute faith on the output for the code generated and I can reuse them into my project. If I would dig down and see the lib folder, it carefully follows the clean architecture, segregating the code in different directories and over here also has all the customizations like a button, like an image or an outline button, all auto-generated. This would surely save me a lot of time when I am trying to do the Flutter app development. The main benefit of device is speed. Device reduces the development time and automates the coding process. It efficiently ensures that the code quality is optimal and it reduces the likelihood of having errors. In the upcoming video, we will be releasing a full-fledged Flutter tutorial that will help you understand device from the scratch. However, if you're looking to master Flutter concepts like state management, routing, and many other things, you can check out my Udemy course that covers everything from basics. Link is in the description box below. Happy coding!